Good. <clears throat> Let me try that again. <clears throat> Good morning. Good Thursday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this July 20th. Check one, two, check one, two, three. I hate when that happens. Usually early in the morning, I've not had my first cup of coffee. I've just been sipping on it over here. I haven't drank it all the way. Usually that tends to loosen up the the phlegm, you know, the stuff in my throat. Anyway, and I first wake up in the morning, it's there. It is the curse of a broadcaster <laughs> to have that junk. Anyway, this weather doesn't help at all. The heat and humidity just makes it even worse. Yeah, it is what it is, though. But, you know, I've had a few people tell me I don't remember it being this hot the last couple of summers. Well, in part and parcel, you're correct. The last couple of summers, it hasn't been quite this hot. Uh, but this is really more typical of a July summer in southern Kentucky. So, you know, we're not breaking any records it's not record-breaking heat, and if anybody's telling you that, they're wrong. For example, yesterday's high, 94, was still 10 degrees shy of the record high of 104 set back in 1980. So, not record-breaking heat, it's just hot. It's just humid. That 94 was 4 degrees warmer, though, than the average high temperature of 90. 72 was our low temperature, 4 degrees above the average of 68. One year ago, we had a high and a low almost exactly what we had yesterday, 94 and 76 back in 2016. And uh, there were even a couple of pop-up showers and thunderstorms yesterday around the area, especially down in Franklin. I mean, you guys down in Simpson County, Franklin just got hammered. I was looking at our AAA systems weather cam that's on the square, and I mean, you couldn't, I mean, visibility was near zero for a time as that rain was coming down. I'm thinking, I wish I had that rain. At my house, while that rain was going on, it was sunny and hot, and they were getting the rain. It's that That's the way it, it kind of does this time of the year. Not everybody's going to get wet with these afternoon pop-up showers, I think less of a chance of seeing that today just because the atmosphere is really capped off with hot air above us, warm air above us even more than yesterday. So we're going to go with a hazy, hot, and humid day and even warmer than yesterday with a high around 95 and the afternoon heat index 100 to 105. Dangerous if you don't take it easy. Tonight will be mainly clear, muggy, 75 for an overnight low, 75. And then Friday, even hotter than today, 97, with a heat index between 105 and 110. That's extremely dangerous. 95 again on Saturday with just a few more clouds and then with an approaching front, we are looking at a 40% chance of showers coming in for Saturday and a high at 92. As that front swings through on Monday, a 50% chance of scattered showers and storms, 88. As the front passes on by, actually it just kind of dissolves, getting eat up by another ridge of high pressure. By Tuesday, we will see mostly sunny skies, but it will be a bit cooler and even less humid with a high of 86. So we are going to get a break from the heat and humidity. We'll just have to wait till Tuesday. And then Wednesday, mostly sunny and 86 once again. All right, that will do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday. Streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later this afternoon, if you get a chance, maybe on your way home to tune in. 
I hope that you'll give my radio show a listen in which I actually play music. Music I grew up with anyway, and some of you, 60s, 70s, 80s, classic hit Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m.